So the sequence you just saw is how you end a song with an epic banging echo effect. And if you like to learn how to do this yourself, stick with me and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this in Final Cut Pro. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you'd like to learn how to level up videos or if you're interested in tips and tricks, consider subscribing and clicking the alert icon to be notified when new content is available. So the echo ending sound is typically not recorded in the songs, but you can make that effect. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that. And you can practically do that with any song. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute, just a second. Now you do have to kind of lay out your footage and time it just right, but I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that. So let's dive into the computer and dive into Final Cut Pro and let's get started. So in the timeline, we have our footage laid out on the top track. Below that, we have our music track and that is a compound clip. And I'll talk a little bit about that here in just a second. Below the audio track, we have some sound effects, but we're not gonna be discussing the sound effects, but do note that your sound effects do enhance the overall quality of your video. So the reason why I put my audio tracks in a compound clip, it allows me to have total creativity over all of the instruments, whether it's the vocals, the bass, the drums, and the instruments, and arrange them in a way that is very fitting for the sequence that I'm creating. So the first thing we need to do is make a cut on the audio track someplace where we think the echo effect should start. And so we just play this back a bit and find that particular spot. So back this up. I think I'm, I do want it about right here. So press B on the keyboard to bring up the blade tool. And we make that cut on the audio track. We're going to select the end and delete it. Now what you can normally do is just do a fade out on the actual audio track to see how that sounds. And we'll do that right now. So just drag this to fade out. We'll play it back. It's okay. It's not epic. It's nothing to really be like, ooh, ah, it doesn't give that punchy effect. But what we're going to do is undo what we just did. And we're going to move to the end of the track, of the audio track, and we're going to press and hold Shift H to make a freeze frame. This is going to allow us to extend and create that echo effect on this audio. So we're gonna head over to the effects panel. We're going to go down into spaces. We're going to select cathedral, drag that to the track. And now we see that we have extended some audio onto the freeze frame. So let's play that back a bit and see how this sounds. Although that sounds amazing, but we still have somewhat of a problem because we added Cathedral to the, the entire music track. It's giving the entire music track an echo, and that's not what we want. So we're gonna take our playhead and we're gonna back up a bit to about where we started the freeze frame, and we're going to back that up three frames, three to four frames. I don't think I'm gonna choose four. And so then we're going to make some key frames in the inspector, choose the audio, scroll down to cathedral, and we're going to add a keyframe here, bring that all the way down to the lowest possible point, and then we're going to go back to the actual track, and we're going to move forward four frames. Then we're going to go back to inspector, add a keyframe. We're going to increase the amount to about 50 or 54 I think that's going to sound pretty good and now let's play this back now that does sound amazing gives you that punchy now we're getting into the mix so there's a couple more things that we have to do to really sell this effect so one of the things we want to do is fade out the audio to the very end and then we also because of Final Cut Pro when you play this back and it you hear the echo but when you export it, it will stop where the actual last video frame is and you won't have that effect of that echo. So we have to go into our custom generators and we're going to add a custom generator. We're gonna use black and we're gonna drag that out to the timeline and trim this down. And then we're going to fade this out a bit. And so let's play this back and see how this sounds. So 
So that is one awesome way to end your music track with an echo effect and go out with a bang. That's what she said. If this video was helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And also please do consider subscribing. If you are curious and like to learn more about video editing or tips in general, check out some of my other playlists. I'm Alon, like always stay safe, stay creative, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Bye.